Hello fans, hello friends, hello everyone, hello to you just stopping at this channel today, hello to everyone that is just discovering me, thank you so much, today's tutorial is on this headwear, so quickly I would be using chest warding, crelonine, 6 inches crelonine, I will be using Yori Yori fabric, and then I would also use organza, okay, so what i need to do first is to create the circular part which is the round edge and to do that i'm going to use the chest warding the chest warding is the thick type of chest warding and the measurement that i would be using is 14 by 27 so 14 inches for the weight and then the length is 27 now if you feel 27 is too short Please do not forget that this um, chest warding can actually stretch, can be stretched out. So from 27, you can actually pull it until you, you get up to like 30 and above. But 27 is perfect. So the next thing I would need to do is for me to roll it together and make sure it's tight. I think one very easy and trickish method of rolling this fast is by using cane. You know that cane, cane. If you're in if you are in Nigeria, you know what I mean by cane. You know that cane that they use in school. So you can like fix it in between and just roll it with your hands very close. Then at a point you pull out the cane and then you just keep rolling with your two ends and it will come out very tight and firm. Because if it's not firm, you will not be able to fold it. That is to bend it to create that uh, circle that you wear on your head. So it's necessary that you ensure that it is very firm. Okay, so the next thing is the folding. I showed the first method of folding. When you are folding with your hands, it's not really easy. I must confess to you, but this method I'm showing you now is easy. So we we'll start by rolling at the middle. So you roll that middle very tight. Make sure the middle is tight because after that you you do you are not you will not get anything straight from it. You understand? Just twist, twist it again and again. And some persons might want to ask which other fabric can be used. You can use ashoke, you can use sequence fabric, you can use satin, you know, any fabric of choice, I think, can actually go for this. Even a scuba can do it as well. So whichever fabric, the bottom line is you are going to be wrapping to cover the chest wording with the choice of fabric that you have made. But one very important thing is that this twisting, you see me twisting this fabric, eh? I mean this chest wording is the most important aspect of this, uh, of this concept. That is this concept of fascinator. The most important aspect of it is what you see me uh, twisting. You have to twist it very tight. And then the reason I am sewing is because I do not um, want it to have the chance of twisting backwards as in losing. So in order for it not to lose, you just like ensure that you, you sew and then keep it in position so that's the major thing so apart from that uh, i would now wrap my fabric but let's just finish the sewing it takes a little bit of time i must confess so please put in your time if it's your first time you can make a small one you can make a big one but if it's your first time using this this um chest wording method please put in your time to sew it again and again
So in order for you to wrap, if you look at the positioning of my fabric there, you should understand the position that the fabric should face. Huh? But I don't even have much of this fabric, so I had to like join again and again. So while joining, you also have to be careful. But if you have a fabric that is up to like one yard, you understand, it will just be enough for you to, to wrap, especially if it is a stretchy uh, fabric. So all I need to do is carefully wrap and ensure that the entire uh, chest wadding is covered. So I just keep wrapping it carefully as I step it on top of each other, uh, making sure that there is no space, there is no opening. So this is how it will look when I bend it. So it's your choice. If you don't want to add any kind of embellishment, it's your choice. If you want to add any kind of embellishment as well, it's a thing of choice. So what I did was that I just simply used um, the stone net. There's this net. It's a stone. They sell it. It comes like in a complete yard. I don't know. It's not up to a yard, but it has a particular size. I used it for one of my videos too. So that net is just where I cut a little piece from to wrap my um, headwear. So just to add something, add beauty, you can decide to bead. Anything at all can work. It's just a matter of choice and your, your how do I put it now? Your mind, your mind. Because beauty or artwork comes first of all from the beauty of the mind. So it comes from your mind, what you see and how you want it done. Okay. So I believe that the rest part of this video you can watch to the end and understand. Thank you very much for stopping by Creative Ends platform. I'll see you in my next video. And this is a quick one. Please, if today is your first time stopping by Creative Ends International and you are yet to subscribe to our channel, I really want to encourage you to please do so. And also, please do not forget to like this video because the numbers of like you give to the video will also help youtube to recommend it to other viewers so please help me like the video if you really really like it thank you very much i'll see you in my next video for me it is bye